Team USA just won the gold medal in the FIBA World Cup to continue the team's streak of four straight gold medals in FIBA competition. But they didn't just win. Team USA steamrolled every opponent they faced. This team never trailed at the end of a first quarter. They never trailed at halftime, and they won every game by double digits. No one doubted that Team USA had amassed the best collection of talent in the world, but before the tournament began, there were some doubts about this team centered around their relative youth and inexperience in international competition. If history has taught us anything, it's that on this international stage, star-studded teams can underperform when they run up against teams with better chemistry. But this young squad erased any of that doubt and went on to be one of the most dominant USA teams we've seen in FIBA World Cup history. This Team USA squad was definitely a new look team, with many older, more experienced players passing the torch. There's no Sue Bird, no Diana Taurasi, no Elena Deladon, no Tina Charles, and due to circumstances out of everyone's control, there was no Brittany Griner either. Cheryl Reeve and her coaching staff decided to double down on youth and talent, essentially building a brand new team with minimal FIBA experience. The oldest player on the team is Alyssa Thomas, she is only 30 years old. The average age of the team is 27 years old, with 22-year-old Shakira Austin being the youngest of the bunch. Only four players from the 2018 FIBA World Cup team returned in 2022. That was Jewel Lloyd, Kelsey Plum, Asia Wilson, and Brianna Stewart. The coaching staff deserves a lot of credit for putting this team together. Team building can be hard, even when you have the best talent in the world to pick from. Given the ultimate result, it's really hard to argue that they didn't construct the best team they possibly could. This team went a perfect 8-0 in group play, winning by an average of 40.8 points per game, which is a Team USA and FIBA world record. Offensively, this team averaged 98.8 points per game, which is second all-time only to the 1994 USA team that averaged 99.1 points per game. Considering this team had to play their first two games without three of their top players in Asia Wilson, Chelsea Gray, and Kelsey Plum, it is absolutely amazing that they were able to put together this historic of a run during the group phase. For the knockout phase, USA got a little lucky with the draw and ended up on the easier side of the bracket having to ultimately beat Serbia and Canada to get to the finals. The finals against China was close through the first quarter, but ultimately USA was able to pull away, especially in the second half, to cruise to an 83-61 to 61 victory to earn the gold medal. With the young average age of this team and what they were able to show during this FIBA run, they are really building something special that should be fun to watch in FIBA and Olympic competition for years to come. This gold medal run was truly a team effort. You just can't dominate like this without contributions from literally everyone. But I do want to highlight a few standout performances from this FIBA run. First, I want to start with the FIBA MVP, Asia Wilson. After joining the team in the third game of the group phase, she dropped 20 points in back-to-back -back games against China and Korea, respectively. Throughout the tournament, she averaged 17 points a game with a field goal percentage of 66.1%, which was a higher percentage than any other player in the tournament. This high field goal percentage was a testament to Asia just being in the best shape of her life. She was able to be more physical than anyone in her way and seemed to get any points in the paint that she wanted. It's pretty clear from this performance that Asia is the unquestioned leader of this team going forward, which bodes really well for the future of this team given she is only 26 years old. In addition to Asia's dominance, I want to highlight the stellar performance that we saw from the team's youngest player, Shakira Austin. Before Asia joined the team, Shakira really took over that role as a primary post player. In the second game against Puerto Rico, she had a double-double with 19 points and 10 rebounds. She followed that up with 16 points and 8 boards against Korea and a 15-point performance against Bosnia. As Asia and the other primary players started to settle in, Shakira got less playing time, but in those games where she was called on, she showed that she can be a primary option on a talented team. I recently featured Shakira Austin in a video about the future faces of the WNBA, so I really have high hopes for her career. Hopefully Mike Tebow was taking notes. It might be time for his Washington Mystics to give Shakira a more prominent role next season. She's shown that she can clearly handle it. There were so many great performances on this team that it would literally take multiple videos to dig into them all. 
But it's safe to say that this core team, led by Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart, Alyssa Thomas, and Chelsea Gray, are going to be a cheat code in international basketball for years to come. But of course, these international coaches are smart. They will likely close the gap over the coming years, and it will be up to these ladies to continue to get better to stay on top. But with a team this young, who has already put together a run this dominant, the sky is the limit. Team USA has been dominant in international competition for decades now, so it can be tough to make your own mark and to stand out amongst the legends that came before you. But this team has already done that, and it's writing a legend that may be better than anything we've ever seen. Well, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you in the next one.